Okay, so question 21. Can I find the collision question? That's probably going to bring in the concepts of momentum. A small car at 100 grams moving at 1.2 meters per second on a frictionless track collides with a larger 1 kilogram car that's at rest. After collision, a small car recoils. A recoil means to move in the opposite direction to go to its initial direction. At 0.85, I'm trying to figure the speed of the large car after the collision. Like question 20, I'll draw sort of um, a before and after picture. Um, so we've got the small card moving at 1.2 meters per second towards a bigger card that's initially at rest. So this is our P4 situation. And after, we got the small cart recoiling at 0.85 meters per second. And we want to know the final speed of the big cart. So I'll go ahead and I'll call the small cart A Let's call the big card B. So what you to answer this question, I want to consider a system of Bocarts. So system A B. So if I consider the system of the two cards, I know the net force on this system is zero, which means the change in momentum of this system is zero. So its initial momentum will equal its final momentum, or the change in the momentum of A will be negative the change in momentum of B. You can answer in both ways. So I will consider that the change in momentum is is zero, then the initial momentum of the system equals the final momentum of the system. Okay. And then the initial momentum of the system is only the momentum of uh, A, since there is no initial momentum of B. So you could you could include an M, B, V, A, B, 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 I term, but it would be zero. So I'm just going to skip that step and say that the initial momentum of the system is M, A, B, A initial, because there is no initial momentum of B. Because the final momentum of M, A, V, A, F plus M, B, 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 F. These are technically, if you, you know, if you want to use a technically velocity, you know, these are vector quantities. And then I'll remove the vector quantity and just consider the signs in the next uh, step. Um, so we're looking for the final uh, speed of VBF, so I'm going to group this term itself. So I have MAVAI minus MAVAF equals MBVBF. So then the final velocity of B would be MA, I can take out, I'm going to eventually divide across by MB, but I can also take out this MA term, VAI minus VAF, all divided by MB. So here's where I dropped out the vector signs, and we will have to consider that the um, final speed of F is negative. So it would be a minus times M, another minus here. So our mass of A is our 100 grams, and you want this in correct units. So 0.1 kilograms, the initial speed, our initial velocity of A is 1.2 meters per second, minus the final velocity, and so you need your second minus, 0.85 meters per second, all divided by the mass of B, which is a kilogram, and this should be all equal to 0.21 meters per second, which is choice E. Again, just for highlighting this between this question and question 20, you have to be very, very careful with the signs of the velocities. That is, the momentum is a, velo is a vector quantity. And the sign of the velocity is, you know, that you put into your equations definitely matters. Um, 
that you've got to be considering the change in direction here. You could say, could have set this all to a term that delta PA equals negative delta PB. You should end up with the same equations and the same, of course, the same answer. But I just set up that the initial momentum of the system equals the final momentum of the system. The initial momentum of the system is just a carat A. The final momentum is the sum of the two momenta. These will mean the opposite. These will have opposite directions because in this, the velocities will be at different uh, directions. If you work out carefully, keeping your you track of your sign, you should end up with E.